This hardened bully feeds on the dead and the dying. Few species would challenge the freshwater crab. Its armour protects soft tissue and even its eyes can be retracted when threatened. Its claws are weapons for attack. However, the crab shares the river with an unlikely rival. A leech. A tiger leech. No armour, no obvious weapons, yet this leech is deadly. At just two inches long, it lives up to its name. The leech is stealthy. Seeking out the chemical trails of potential prey. The crab sees movement amongst the detritus. A would-be victim. The leech seems wary and keeps its distance from the well-armed aggressor. It watches and waits as other leeches gather nearby. The crab moves in to attack. But a second leech arrives, seeking the crab's juicy insides. The crab decides that attack is the best form of defence. Its claws could do serious damage to a leech's soft body. But the leeches are slippery customers, covered in mucus. The leeches pause their attack. Only for a moment. This leech is hungry. It manoeuvres behind the deadly claws and tries to latch on. The crab attempts to shake off its attacker. A master at breaking and entering, the leech has found a chink in the crab's armour. Once it strikes soft tissue, it tears into the flesh, injecting an anticoagulant. The leech begins to suck out the crab's vital fluids. The crab's struggle is futile. Its life is literally being sucked away. The leech will gorge itself, consuming up to five times its original body weight. All that remains of the crab is its armour and the weapons that proved useless against the aquatic vampire. The leech won't need to feed again for months, even a year. The peacock mantis shrimp. Otherworldly in appearance, there's more to this odd creature than meets the eye. It's a formidable predator. Its bizarre appearance is the result of 80 million years of evolution. With an appendage for every occasion, the peacock mantis shrimp is the Swiss army knife of the marine world. Five pairs of legs for feeding. Three pairs of legs for walking. 
two pairs of antenna for reception, ten gills for breathing, two eye stalks bearing an extraordinary pair of compound eyes, and even a set of windscreen wipers. But of its 34 appendages, it's those club-shaped limbs of the four that make it a true killer. At just six inches, he punches well above his weight. His hunting strategy is one of brute force. Understandable when prey species include the well-armed and well-armoured, not to mention well-camouflaged. But camouflage is of little use when hunted by a peacock mantis shrimp. His eyes are amongst the most complex in the animal kingdom. While human eyes have just three colour photoreceptors, he has 12. With the capacity to see far beyond the human visible spectrum, very little escapes his attention. While the crab's defences are formidable, this seasoned brawler treats them with contempt. He's more than a little territorial and knows exactly who's moving through his patch. Especially those of the tasty variety. Unaware of the mantis shrimp's presence, the crab strays close. Too close. With the velocity of a 22 calibre bullet, the mantis shrimp strike is the fastest in the animal kingdom. The assault is so fast that friction makes the surrounding water boil. The devastating punch knocks limbs off the victim and delivers a quick death. With built-in cutlery at his disposal, his home-delivered crab meat meal is ready to eat. A natural-born coral killer. At around 30 inches in diameter, an individual crown of thorns starfish can devour up to 30 square feet of coral in a single year. Which might not sound like much, but when present in vast numbers, the results are catastrophic. And these sea creatures produce more offspring than any other marine organism on Earth. Each female develops over 50 million eggs in a breeding season. From the age of six months, the diet of juvenile starfish is comprised almost entirely of coral. Its characteristic venomous spines protect it from most predators. En masse, they are a force to be reckoned with. Yet, for the reef, there is hope on the horizon an unlikely predator, the giant triton, one of the ocean's largest sea snails. Tritons can measure over a foot and a half from tip to tail. This giant gastropod feeds upon sea cucumbers and sea stars.
the crown of thorns starfish seems to be one of its favourite foods. When hunting, the triton uses scent trails to track its prey. But it's not the only one with an acute sense of smell. The starfish senses the approaching threat and attempts to flee. The triton gives chase. It may appear that these creatures are going nowhere fast. But make no mistake, this is an active pursuit. A race to the death. With nowhere to hide, the starfish relies on its venomous spines as a last line of defence. But the starfish's defences offer little deterrent to the persistent predator. Giant tritons have developed a tolerance to the starfish's toxins. And their saliva contains a paralysing agent, which brings the pursuit to an abrupt halt. Its hard-fought meal is now ready for consumption. It uses a serrated organ, known as a radula, to lacerate the soft tissue between the starfish's spines. Then sucks the life from its paralysed victim, leaving little behind but an empty husk. But as is the nature of a sea snail, it's in no hurry. 